Buck check. Good check. Copy that. What's the ETA on it? Two minutes. Copy that. Okay, and roll sound. Rolling! Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Covered Rider. Uh, today, uh, I thought um, I'll just uh, do more like an unboxing video of my um, helmet that I just received this morning along with the, uh, right, the mic setup. Finally, I got that. Uh, we'll come back to this later. So, this is what it is. Um, it is actually the Steelbird Air, uh, which I have managed to purchase. Uh, full disclosure, this is not the biggest or the baddest or the costliest helmet that is available. In fact, it is the opposite. In fact, I would say it is one of the cheapest. It costed me about 1,600, 700 bucks, uh, but it took about two weeks to reach me. That is there. But again, I just wanted a, a hardcore. Um, uh, what do you call a rough use kind of helmet uh, so that I can actually take it anywhere and uh, since I already have a so-called uh, crazy helmet that I st still uh, I've been using it for last 15 years which is all uh, tinted and things like that so I, I thought I'll go with a, a plain uh, glass basically because if it is a plain glass you can always uh, uh, do whatever you want, right? I mean, you, I can even go tint it if you want to. Uh, but that is a second uh, secondary thoughts at this point in time. I have a couple of issues um, that I can uh, force, which I will cover it up. But uh, first things first, um, yes, it looks like this. It is not because of uh, the paint issues. It's more like... Uh, this is how it was. It is a matte, a rugged type uh, finish. So don't think it is all paint. It's all mode art. This is how it is. This is the graphics. Uh, so it is matte, um, kind of a matte finish helmet. So I kind of like that. Uh, so um, apart from that, uh, there are a few uh, crazy things which I personally like. I'll show you this one. Um, First things first, it is snug, okay? It is properly, it properly fits in. So let me see if I can actually use my, right. Can you see this one? Uh, this one. It's all bolted on. So the good thing is you can remove this one, just like any other helmet, but I would prefer to keep it. The reason being, uh, I'm from, I'm an OT and this also gives me a good fit. It's kind of tight at this point in time, but I, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure it'll, I'll get used to it. The only other issue that I personally feel is my face comes directly here, uh, and uh, my I'll show you the the clip-on thing that I'm gonna I normally have it here, right? This is my other helmet that I'm using. So as I told you, it's all tinted. It's 15 years old, so apparently it has got its beatings so this one that i've got uh, for my uh, camera mount if i fit it in this one i have space in here this is a pretty large helmet if you can see that uh, if if at all i fix it in here uh, it's kind of getting um, too claustrophobic if i might use that word uh, the reason being it is much more uh, the, the other helmet is much more roomier uh, but this is not uh, so that is something which um, i will have to look in but otherwise i kind of liked it of course i will uh, it is it's not a sticker unfortunately so it is more like a paint so i'll have to manage to get because i'm not a brand ambassador of anything here so i have to manage to get these things maybe like a go in for a matte black and then write pilot or something like that you know the same thing goes with the 
this one as well i will not want to have these things on my helmet um as long as of course uh, they are actually helping me uh, i mean they are uh, happy to sponsor me for that <laughs> but all done um uh, frankly speaking i did not have any great expectations um, of this helmet as i told you it's one of the cheapest that you can find on amazon i will put the link in the description below where i found it uh, okay now getting back to the uh, not so great parts uh perfect so first things first i did not know the mechanism of this so i thought it was more like an air vent fine done it opens perfect supposedly air only air gets in i surely hope so i hope only air gets in but after this one if you're closing it right i expected it to go down and then lock but it did not it actually see it pops out and this is not stable see it is not even sitting in, inside got it right and then what you do is you press it back it goes in and then you press it press on this properly into so that it see it's all too plasticky basically and then lock it then it sits in place uh, i'm not a big fan of using these all these air vents i don't believe in all these things maybe it is useful maybe it is not but again if it's too hot i just remove the helmet and stand for some time that's kind of a person that i am uh apparently the only other thing which i personally do not like uh, is because it is see the glass it is not that great at all right it's all i'm sorry to use the word just the lack of uh, just for the lack of word it's too scary if i'm not <laughs> i'm trying to be too nice here it is not in the pristine situation and this one i'm glad that you were able to pick it up um yeah this one right that is not good because it is more like a an issue with the helmet see the glass has got a hit and it's outside um i am still okay with it the only reason being it is not this is not in the line of sight because this this is where my eyes are going to be so 99% of the time i'm not going to use it unless i'm crazy conquering in some of the roads but of course if i'm going to go in for a track or something i will not going to i'm not going to use the cell phone which way so that's all right uh these things um i hope it is yeah see it is just too plastic key and i hope it is functional but again i'm 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 not a person who um was too bothered about all these uh, gimmick it is not a mclaren <laughs> it is just a helmet right it is not opening yeah kind of something it's it's there and there's some kind of nerve and i hope only as i told you only air comes in <laughs> not water when i'm driving on the rain or something like that uh, this will see the test of time for sure um but all said and done so what my plans are when of course um, let me see if at all i can drive with this for some time and then possibly uh, take it um and maybe tint the visor or something like that and i have to fix it and coming back to the the other thing yes i have got it finally the so called the mic setup i have already found the the connector but uh, this is good uh, because it actually comes with the extra 3 pin adapter because uh, this camera that i've got um, uh, the 360 uh, the connector to the 360 doesn't take uh, a 3 pin it actually takes a, a two slot uh, pin if i am i'm saying it right so that is something which uh, has to be but i'm and it's actually 3 meters long i don't know what they were thinking but again i've got a an indian jugad an alternative for this one um, i got it in the uh, shop nearby so i might be using that and this i'll i'll use it for videos like these where i am going to just talk you know uh, so that is it i will link this also down in the description so this is all uh, this is all about it uh, i just wanted to tell you 
about uh, what i've got and what is my so called first review of my helmet and it goes to, it goes well with the stealth theme that i've brought this i mean I brought uh, brought up the channel to you know it is going to be stealth enemy so i just wanted it a complete black no attention grabber or something like that so let's see um uh, so i would like to conclude it right now uh let's see i mean i will see you in another video let's make this world a great place to live and ride cheers copy that roger that